Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder and here we are with Gonza of Rivera for another Let's Play episode. We are now at the point in the game where you have a lot of freedom, but you won't get the maximum amount of freedom until you unlock all the port permits. And so I'm going to start doing a series. It's going to be a slow one because it takes a lot of time to do these quests as well as there's a lot of them. But I want to show you how to unlock all of the port permits for the entire map. Um, and I'm probably not going to hit all of them, but at least the major ports, uh, port permits, so that you can get to the circumnavigation quest in the end. So, the first things first, you have done everything that we've done up to this point, and you probably have enough fame that you have unlocked all of the previous perm, uh, port permits that you can unlock with fame. Those port permits you need to have first are North, uh, Northern Europe, uh, the Northern Atlantic, the West Mediterranean, the East Mediterranean, West Africa, South Atlantic Ocean, East Africa, Red Sea, Indian Ocean, and Caribbean. If you have the Caribbean, then you know you've gotten, gotten them all. That's a good way to know. Um, at least in my case. It may not be for everybody, but it is for me. So I have the Caribbean Ocean unlocked. The only way you can check, really, is if you check all these uh, here. You'll see that I have all of them. Northern Europe, Eastern Europe, Western Africa, South Africa. Eastern Africa, Caribbean, Central America, Southeast Asia, and East Coast of Ruby, and then here's India as well. So, and you could also do this to see, like, now I can get, I've already been to Santiago once, I accidentally went there once, um, when I left the game on while I was auto-sailing, and ended up in the Caribbean, so I picked up a city while I was out there. But, this is how you're going to start. Now we're going to, after you've gotten all of these uh, port permits, you start unlocking the port permits with quests from your major city. So I'm from Spain, so I have to go to the Seville Royal Castle and talk to Cardinal Tabera, Tabera, whichever, and go to Imperial Contracts. The first contract you're going to be looking for is Surveying the New World. So this is where we're going to do this one today. We're not going to do much else other, uh, other than this. So, in order to do this quest, we will accept this quest. It says, My fellow sailors, in order to construct a firm foundation of the lands of the new world and begun survey of this land, we want you to help us bring in this in this endeavor. Bring this letter to the port official in San Juan. The very future of our country lies in, the, in your hands. So, that's the first step. Select the quest and accept it. Alright. And then, naturally, you're going to sail to the Caribbean. Now, if you haven't already been there on your own, you're going to have to just you know, discover San Juan yourself. Um, I'm not entirely sure where San Juan is off of the top of my head, but if I remember correctly, San Juan is on this island. I want to say it's on this island because here's Santiago. I don't think San Juan's here. I think it's on this smaller island here. So I could auto sail it to Santiago if I really wanted to, but we're going to travel faster if we uh, auto uh, don't auto sail it. So we're going to get on a boat. And now I've already unlocked the Sambuk, which is great because that is uh, the fastest ship I have. At least I believe it is. Uh, if I'm told, it's one of the better ships to have. Now, for horizontal sails, it's not the best ship. Um, but it, it maybe the Graduation Palaka would be better. I honestly I don't know for sure. But I like the Sambuk. I'm told that it's one of the best ones. So I use the Adventure Sambuk. I got my levels up high enough so I could use it. Need level 21 in adventure to use it, um, and I think I just hit that recently. Yeah, so that's why I'm using that ship. You could do it in any ship though that you get from the early game for the most part. We're just gonna get enough uh, stuff to take with us. I like to get 20 days. It's probably more than enough, but in case you get stuck in a storm or something, you know, good to have 20 days or so. And let's set sail. I know it's generally in this direction. Now you could use the help of a GVO Navi if you want um, to really make sure you're hitting the right angle and get the straight shot. Um, I tend to do that a lot. Um, you know, I will oftentimes uh, try to angle my little triangular boat here so I'm literally diagonally perfectly across with San Juan 
And from enough experience, I think this might be roughly the right angle. I mean, I could totally be wrong. I honestly have no idea. But that's the angle we're going to go with. So, while that's sailing, while I have my frugality on, my caution, and my surveying, um, and I did switch to a adventure skill uh, in advance here. So, our adventure uh, job, I'm a helms person, because I want to get that extra bonus for... Uh, some of the skills that come with helps person uh, that sail handling makes me go faster surveying is always good to have because it stays active longer um, These other ones aren't so important geography and recognition are not very important, but repair sure if we get caught in a storm is something we can work on But uh, that's pretty much it steering. Yeah steering is probably the next benefit. You know, this is a good one to have uh, The other option I had was Fisher and if I wanted to go fishing across here instead of using saying uh, caution, but I like to use these three when I'm doing across the ocean sailing. So, we're going to sail to the Caribbean. Now, if you notice, the Caribbean's red. This might be a rough time, but we could be lucky enough. This this whole area here is red because it's rough with dangerous waters, meaning we, we could really get risk uh, of being attacked by pirates. Most people won't bother someone of our size. Um, that doesn't mean that it couldn't happen, but we're going to go ahead and take the extra speed boost for an hour or two. Make this trip 30% faster, supposedly. And then I could, if I wanted to, I could use this experience boost for five hours. I don't know that I'm going to get five hours of play in today. Um, you know, the time consideration I have to think about here is probably only about an hour, so I may not use one of those 50% experience for five hours unless I've been planning on playing for a long time. So, But if you're going to do all these poor Permers quests in a while and you have one of these, by all means do this and do as many of these quests as you possibly can. I mean, it might be smart for me to use this one of these days coming up and port hop as much as I possibly can and get all that experience and then hand it all in when I get the permits and the permits the discovery cards which makes me want to check I hate when that happens that it resets every time you change C's yeah I got two geographies but that's it but I'm gonna get a whole lot more cities wise I want to say this is the right angle. It's usually directly on this angle here from Madeira. But I could be wrong. Alright, let's check what this is. Extra skill proficiency for an hour. Not bad. Patriot awards, headache medications. May not be a bad idea to take this Veil of Dominions because it gives you a protection of all natural disasters, including storms. Uh, don't typically have any issues with that. This might be interesting to talk about tarot cards. Let's accept one. This could be a complete waste, and people may go like, "Oh, you're wasting them." But honestly, I don't play this character all that much, and I have no reason to not use this as a teaching moment. Um, and it might mean I have to Google some things for you. Because I don't know the answers to these questions uh, right off the top of my head. But tarot cards are very useful for people. Oh, I don't know how useful they always are. Okay. So the result of using a tarot card um, is random. If I click OK and use this tarot card, um, it'll unleash a strange power aura that lasts a period of time um, in game on my character uh, it'd be one of those things that you want to use when you're going to be using well again again you don't know what you're going to get but anyways let's look up tarot they're going to give you a buff of some kind And it could be a debuff, too. I might have already talked about this in one of my games where I had a debuff, but it's a good chance to talk about it again. So, 
Silver tiles can be attained from Luxor and Lima dungeons on the middle floors, and they'll bring you of the effect of the Fool, the World, the Empress, and the High Priestess. Those are your main... That's what you can receive from this, these silver tarots. From regular tarot cards, you can get Strength, Emperor, the Star, the Hermit, the Magician, the Hierophant, and so on. Well, I don't know. Whatever the case would be. So, we're just going to go ahead and, hit and use it and see what we get. We got the Fool. That was one of the ones they had mentioned. So, let's see what the Fool does. Mm -hmm. Scrolling, scrolling. I'm on my phone, in case you guys are curious as to what I'm doing. The Fool randomly activates one of card effects. Hmm. Okay. Well, how do I know which one I'm getting? I don't know. Well, I guess that's really strange. I guess I could be getting any of the card effects. Is there a way to see? Let's see. Special item effects. Well, that's what I used earlier. I have no idea. How are we going to know? I might have to ask in game. This is very strange. The Fool, UWO. Let's see. I don't know. Doesn't say. <laughs> How do I know? Well, let's ask guys can game then. So I got the full tarot effect. How do I know what buff I am getting? Look at that, everybody. We're learning as we go. See if anybody in game is available to tell us because hasn't been a bit of a response. Did I miss it? Did I seriously miss the message? Is that the thing? Let's look back. It doesn't say. It just says you drew the fool. Like I saw, I got the fool. But I guess I missed what the message said. Yeah, but yeah, that's the thing. I would, I'm not gonna know. There's no way to check. Like that is the dumbest thing. If the game really did that. Well, you guys are gonna see it in game, and you can pause it and look, and I'll get a chance to look back at it again. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that's how that works. It's not a special item effect. None of these things. Like, it's just... Uh, I don't understand. Why bother making something if it doesn't show underneath special item effects?
Like, what's the point of having the an effect if I can't see what the buff is? If it's random. Other than when it first pops up. Well, I hope it's not a bad effect. I mean, I guess it could be one of any of these effects. Let's see, what could it be? It says it could be the Fool, so does that mean I can have any of the other ones that are listed with the Fool? Like, the World, the Empress, the High Priestess, the Magician? If it's any of those... Let's see, the World... Suffering from insomnia. How do we fix that? One of these. Um, let's see. The magician increases production skill rate. The world. So, increasing production skill rate was the magician. The world is increased experience gained by 20%, restore equipment's durability 20, by 25% when expired, so that's kind of nice if something should break. Uh, I could have gotten the Empress. Or the High Priestess. So the Empress. Increased skill experience gained by 10%. The ship's part delivered by 25% when expired. Or the High Priestess. Decrease vigor when using producing by 20%. Obtain dropped item when expired. Okay. Well, if it could be any of those, it's great. If it could be any of the others... You know, it could be anything from the chariot, or temperance, or strength, or justice. We don't know. But they all have an effect. There's a list somewhere in game, yeah, on the website. So, you don't. I'm not gonna see it here. It doesn't seem like I'm gonna find out, unless if we go back and look at the recording. And even then, there's no guarantee. Now, I hope that we are getting close. It seems that it's suggesting we're still on this map here, so... Which means we're probably not even across the, mid the that midpoint yet. It's a long trip, guys. I could edit the video, but... I'm not much of a video editor. Well, that's a little annoying, ain't it? Maybe we'll use this opportunity to open GVO Navi. Where's my GVO Navi? Ah, wonderful. It won't show it because I have it in window mode, or I don't have it in window mode, so. It's not going to pick up on it, which is great. I don't even know where I am, but I must be getting close, actually, now that I see some islands. Look at that. I was pretty good at my angle. If I hadn't adjusted my angle, I'd probably be more accurate as to where I am. Trust from my aid has increased. That's great. What is my aid at now? 22. I just got some more trait skills here, so I keep focusing on Paymaster because I know that the skill I want to get from her. Man, I really hate, hate, hate that. Mm. 
We need to get Paymaster up. Okay, I'm pretty sure San Juan's on one of these two islands here. Either this first one or the next one. So we're gonna we're gonna angle towards it a bit. Okay, we are in lawless waters, meaning we could be potentially attacked. Almost there. So remember, our quest wants us to talk to the port official in San Juan. I'm pretty sure that's San Juan. Again, if it's not, then it's on the next island, but I'm pretty sure it's this little tiny island. It's Puerto Rico. If you know your geography in this game, then you'll you'll be better off. I'm not getting 20% uh, experience buff, so it clearly isn't that one that I thought it might have been. I think we're moving pretty quick for a, a boat. Pretty cool. Alright. We discovered San Juan. And that was our research thesis, really? Oh, that was a discovery. Never would have thought. Oh, yeah, great. So that worked. Um, so we have to talk to the port official. Have you been brought the letter? Well, then let's get started right away. This is how I want you to do the investigation. So I'll probably talk to him multiple times. To the southeast, past Cayenne and along the coast, you'll find a landing area. There I want you to look for signs of rebels and pirates. Then carve your seal on a pile of boulders. Once you've done that, investigation will be complete. Be careful down there. Alright, so now we need to go to the northern, northeastern portion of the uh, Caribbean Ocean, or not Ocean Eastern, of the actual South American island, uh, peninsula, or country, or continent, whatever you want to call it. So, that's where we're going to go. And while we're here, we're going to pick up some, some things that I know that sell well over there. Well, I'm not a huge fan of any of these things, really. I guess I don't know we'll hold off my skills should be in food textile fabric dyes livestock we'll hold off we don't let's not fill up our inventory fully with uh, items that we don't necessarily want to bring back and have to bring back I like to invest whenever I'm in these cities it's always good to, to do so when you're here in case it opens up some things for you once you invest. Like getting more of, you know, market items and stuff. Let's treat our sailors. Let's top off on vigor. Okay. Now, if I remember Cayenne is here and the landing point is somewhere over here or is it over here I don't know I need to look at the map so we're gonna open up my GVO Navi app in case you guys are wondering this is what I use it's auto centering okay so we are right here in San Juan and we want to use we want to get to Cayenne where is Cayenne why can't I see Cayenne Cayenne. Oh, duh. I'm thinking, mi mixing it with Grand Cayman. I'm an idiot. So there's Cayenne. And, oh, Casey, you're curious, guys. Here's that other um, private farm I was talking about. So here we are. We're looking for Cayenne. And I think they were talking about the South American Northeast location. So if that's the case, I don't need this to be bring to front every single time. So. Yep, South America, Northeast. That's what I thought. There's Cayenne, just south of it. So this, in case you guys are curious, this website that I'm using is a blog spot. I'll leave it in the link in my descriptions, and it'll show you where to go. 
Um, and this is where we're going to head. We're going to head to the South America, northeast, just south of Cayenne. And so we're going to pick up Cayenne while we're there as well. Because I don't want that issue to come up either. So Cayenne somewhere around here. We're going to pick it up at some point along the way. So let's go ahead get in our boat. Top off on our goods. And we're pretty much just going to head straight south from here. Okay, not using uh, GVO Navi is going to hurt us a little bit. Um, you know, because I can't really be 100% sure about where everything is. But... I'm okay with not, you know, being exact. I think if we start with going straight south, we should be okay. Alright, so then once we're there, and we're at Cayenne, uh, we're going to top off again. On some of our goods, but we need to get to the the North America, uh, North South American, Northeast, or whatever it was called. I forget already. Location because we're going to be in this map area here, and we're going to need to get to this bottom right hand corner. And I believe we pop in up here at the top, so we're going to have to find our way all the way down to this bottom location of the map. If you haven't been, uh, San Juan, yeah work if we go straight south and then follow the coast if you haven't been on to any of these land locations yet before it'd be a good time to to really um, you know explore how to use the map and how to wander it and we'll avoid battles and all that stuff also it wouldn't hurt to also have some landmark ribbons which I don't seem to have hmm. maybe I can get them in Cayenne but if not bring some Landmark ribbons are little red little ribbon things that when you use them They'll bring you right back to the beginning of the dungeon in which you entered um, Kind of like an old Pokemon escape rope Bring you back to the last entrance that you came out of So I didn't bring any get to the South American coast pretty quick. I don't think this was a place that I could visit. I think this might be a coast. Yeah, this this is South America North. I could find Caracas, but I may not be able to actually do it yet, actually. Yeah. So that's one of the kind of landing points we're going to be looking for. That's not a city. Unfortunately. Sorry if my screen jumping thing is causing you some visual uh, disturbance, but I, since I can't look at the map at the same time because I don't have two monitors, I have to refer back to it to make sure I'm heading in the right direction. And ignore the sound of my phone going off. <laughs> I'll put it on vibrate for now. So. This is just the first of the quests that you're going to do, because once we just go to that rock, we're going to have to do, by the way, if you're curious about what you should be doing and you're trying to follow the quests, it says, after further examining the area, I am to leave proof of my presence by carving my seal on the pile of boulders. So we'll have to go to the pile of boulders and click on it and do something with it, and that should finish the quest for us. And then we can sail back to Spain, hand this in, and then we'll have unlocked the entire port permits for the uh, eastern coast of South America.
Oh, my vigor was randomly stored. So I wonder what uh, effect that was. Let's look at that list again. Vigor can be van randomly. Let's see, can I search? Well, it's not death. It's not recovers after she becomes a slightly recover maximum durability when expired. Increase body language. Recover from conflict, mutiny, and sirens. Decrease supply consumption. Increase energy during battle. Increase artillery range. Hmm. Increase fatigue. Increase rate. That's the devil. Increase negotiation success rate. No. Increase all skill experience by 10%. Restore ships. No. Randomly activates one card. So that's the fool. Increase supply consumption rate. Decrease fatigue when expired. Increases collection trade goods using search. Did I use food? Maybe? It says Vigor Restored, but I didn't eat anything. So no, I didn't use food. There's Cayenne. Recovers Vigor while sailing, so I got the Hero Fent. That's what it is. So, I got a completely random skill from this. I figured it out. The Fool gave me the hero event, which is recovers vigor while sailing. Randomly recovered vigor while sailing. That was the first time. You can see how infrequent it is, but it was nice. It would really stink if I just had used a bunch of my food, vigor food, to find out that I didn't need to. I'd be a real pain in my butt. So I don't know that I can go into Cayenne right now, actually. Because I haven't unlocked this port permit system yet. So it's probably not going to work. Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't have the perk permits. But, let's restock. Let's even restock more. Just because I don't want to have to stop. And, might be enough. Okay, let's continue going south. Along the coast. It's just on the other side of the Amazon River here. These are the kinds of guys you're going to look for, those Lavardier that you're going to use. Like, I'll use this first, this benefit letter, and I get to choose between what, one of, like, three particular effects. Large freight reinforcements, receive an endorsement, or receive auto navigation map, receive shipwreck map, or large fleet reinforcement. So, I would say, like, receive endorsement. This is... The endorsements that can be received will change depending on the NPC. In order to receive endorsements, you will acquire a certain amount of space in your inventory. You will also be unable to receive endorsements if your hostility to the nation affiliated with the NPC is too high. So I don't have any hostility. So what happens is enabling receiving a job endorsement once from other nations, NPCs in the sea for a set duration of time. So I would use that use this item for receive endorsement, then click on Lavardier or whatever who he is and I would get some sort of job endorsement card. Uh, it depends on who the person is. Uh, Lavardier results in uh, certain job endorsements. So let's see if I can look that up. Job endorsements. UWO. Lavardier. So I'm looking for Lavardia. There's a whole bunch, obviously, depending on who you communicate with. You'll get different stuff. Hmm. Man, there's a lot. Lavardia was French. Man, I'm just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Man, there's a lot. Oh, but I didn't miss it. I've been scrolling for a good while now.
Jeez. There are so many. A Lancaster. Okay, that was the first L I remember seeing. Holy mackerel. Still can't find it. Lawrence. If I was on a computer, I could just control F look for this, but because I'm scrolling through my phone, this is taking particularly long. Dear Lord. I'm getting dizzy. Another Lawrence. Jeez. I swear to God, he better be worth it. I'm not going to use use the thing on the guy or what. He better be a good one. Or a super rare guy or something. I don't know. Holy mackerel. I think I finally see where I'm going. I'm in game now. Well, I must have missed Lavardier somewhere on there. <sighs> okay, apparently there's a search function. Okay, so Lavardier is found near the Amazon River, as we found, and he gives an adventurer's guild card, which, not bad, gives you some sort of uh, ability to change adventurer guild uh, skills. So, doesn't necessarily give you much else other than the beginner's guild stuff, though. But if you're looking for an adventurer's card, that's where, adventurer's guild card. That's where you go. All right, we made it, made it to here, so we're gonna click explore the land, and we're gonna use our surveying skill. We're going to open up our map, and if this map looks familiar from before, we're going to go to this bottom flag here. But we need to make an immediate right, because we can't go this way, we're going to hit a dead end. So make an immediate right, and this starts putting us on this pathway here. So like I said, it would be nice to have a landmark ribbon, because then once I reach the end here, I don't have to walk all the way back. But for those people out there who don't have that kind of luxury, this is what you do. I feel like I'm about to get disconnected from the internet. Because that was red for a minute, but it's not. Okay. I'm gonna keep on walking. Now, there's a lot of things here that you probably may end up coming back for to do discoveries for, but. This is the first place I think I've visited myself, and I haven't done any discoveries of any kind, so this is just simply for the quest line, so, but it's possible. Alright, so we're going to avoid that bandit. He's a level 40. We are not ready for that kind of battle. We are not equipped to be in that kind of battle. We do not have weapons of any kind that can help us. We do not want to be in that battle. Sorry for the rain. That was That was really loud. Hope it wasn't. there. Again, if you see anybody that's at risk to battle, just avoid them. That's what I'm going to try to do here. Stay between these two groups. We're going to run straight through. Making sure I'm still heading to that right location. I'm just staying to the outside here, so I stay away from the battle, so don't want to get caught up in a battle accidentally. Avoid 
that guy. And here we are. So here's the boulders we were talking about. I don't know if I need to do anything here. Other than click on it. Yep, quest complete. You have completed gathering information for the con continent. Hereby certified. Don't need to do anything else. So we can leave. Just check your quest book. Quest complete. Now we can go back. Alright, so I could end it here. Um, I might just do that because this is just a long trip back to uh, Seville, but you get the gist. This is what you need to do. That's how you complete the quest. You get everything you need uh, by following what I showed you here. And that is the first quest. Uh, you And you have to do them in these orders. Uh, that's kind of the, the other thing, too. This order kind of matters to some degree. Um, I don't think you get the freedom to just not do the order. Uh, this is the first one. Surveying the New World quest. And this unlocks the first uh, port permit outside of the fame permits that you get when you do your regular questing and your regular leveling in the Mediterranean areas. So, first quest down, first uh, area unlocked, um, and then we're going to come back here, obviously, and we're going to do uh, get a lot of these port permits. But really, or port permits, the, the ports themselves, discoveries, but I'm really going to just focus on unlocking... Um, these port permits uh, one episode at a time. So this was the first episode of, I think, seven more? I could be wrong. But, until the series is done, this is what I will focus. And uh, if you have any questions about this series, uh, feel free to leave questions in the comments and below. Like and subscribe, as always. Um, I got a new subscriber today. Thank you to me so much to those people that have subscribed since. It's been great. I really do appreciate you supporting me uh, I don't get anything for it I'm doing this just for fun and helping those people who have no idea how to play this game and need a little bit of help so every little bit of subscriptions you give me and every like you give me and every view you give me is going to help someone else find me and hopefully learn something from this game thanks so much to all the guys out there in game that helped me all those who respond to me in world chat all those who are my friend in game good Buddha uh, and their and his guild doing everything they can uh, to make sure that people come away with the right information because I have been wrong on occasion and without some of the people correcting me I uh, wouldn't be here where we are today so thank you so much all for coming in visiting Gonzo Rivera and Chuck Thunder and uh, be sure to like and subscribe thanks guys take care